This is Chad with Drive the Lightning. Thank you for being here for this episode of Awesome EV Tech. Let's get to work. Come for a ride with us. We're gonna take our 2022 Chevy Bolt and charge it at a Tesla supercharger. I know what you're thinking. Chad, what's wrong with you? You can't charge this at a Tesla supercharger because this has a CCS port and Tesla uses NAX. Well, we're gonna be able to charge it because of this, what's in this beautiful bag, and that is an adapter from Foxprod. This adapter will take us from NAX at the Tesla supercharger to CCS in this car, which opens up our Chevy Bolt to about 20,000 extra DC fast chargers because of this right here. Come with us for the ride, we'll show you how it works. Okay, we're pulled into the Tesla supercharger. Now we're gonna get this car charged. And even though we have a CCS port because of Fox Prod, they've provided us with a NAX to CCS adapter. This is how it works. This would be a good time to break in and just briefly talk through the Tesla app and how you use it if you're not driving a Tesla. Well, after you open the app and you set it up and you put in your vehicle, and that's key that you have it set for your vehicle. Like for us, we've got it set for the Chevy Bolt EUV. And then when you go to find a charger, you'll see all the little red dots lit up. Those are available to you and your car specifically. It's not all the Tesla superchargers available in the US, it's just the ones that are opened up to your car. So as you can see here, if you're in Florida, you're all set. If you're in the East Coast, you're all set. What if you're in California, Nevada, New Mexico, you're all set. I mean, there are so many of these now available thanks to adapters like this from Foxprod. Once you've chosen your vehicle, then you want to select the DC fast chargers because on this app, there's also Tesla destination chargers. Well, that won't use your CCS port. Therefore, that's not what this adapter is for. This one's only for the superchargers, the expansive Tesla supercharger network. So you want to click this button that says 72 and up. Uh, that'll get you to just DC fast chargers. And then when you go and look around and find a charger, you'll see all kinds of options just everywhere that open up to your vehicle. Here's another clue. When you click on one of these selections and you scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll see down there exactly what brands Tesla has opened up that charging stall to. So right there you'll see, is your vehicle really approved for this? Of course, you'll see that it is. And then when you get to the charger, you'll choose the charging bank you want to use. You'll hit begin charge. And when you do that, you'll see this screen here that tells you plug in your adapter and then plug it into the car. And once you do that, you're up and running. Let's get back to the demonstration. So when you pull up to your Tesla charger, you choose on the app which charging number you're gonna use, which you'll find at the bottom of the Tesla charger. And then from there, you just take your adapter, next to CCS, and we're gonna go over here to the charger, push the button and you remove the handle. And then you wanna plug it right into your Fox Prod adapter. You'll hear a nice click. That's how you know you're there. Obviously open your charge port over here. And now you're just gonna plug that thing in and you can hear it click when it's plugged in. Now, if you come up here in just a moment, you'll see the orange light here will turn green when it starts charging. This is of course on the Chevy Bolt EUV. <laughs> this important thing to notice with the Fox Prod adapter and the Tesla supercharger, the Chevy Bolt EUV can only charge at 50 uh, kilowatts and it's already charging right where it should be at 51 kilowatts, so roughly 50 kilowatts, which means we're getting the max charge from that Tesla supercharger that this particular EV can handle. So when you get enough juice that you want, then you just go to your Tesla app again and you stop charging. And once it stops, you simply unplug it right there. And then you can remove the NAX from the adapter, close your flap, and then you are all done charging. Thank you so much to company Fox Pride for providing us with a Nexus CCS charger and adapter, which unlocks for General Motors vehicles like ours, over 20,000 Tesla superchargers around the world. Great product. You should check it out in the description below. By the way, this thing is extremely well built. I'm not going to drop it to prove that it could drop, but I'm telling you, this is hard as a rock. This is an extremely well built adapter. It locks in the Nax. It locks in the CCS, which gives you full control. and You don't have to worry about just coming loose. It can take the heat, it can take the pressure, it could probably take a drop, but we're not gonna test that. I wanna share a couple quick details here about the Fox Prod Supercharger to CCS adapter. First, it comes to you in a nice little box with foam on both sides, it's well protected. 
And then it also has a nice carrying bag. This bag is nice because you can just throw this in your trunk, throw it in your trunk, whatever. It's like two pounds. So it's really nicely done. And then the unit itself, I mean, you can see there, there's your CCS inlet and there's where the NAX goes in. But both have locking mechanisms. So you know when you snap it in place that it's gonna stay in, it's gonna stay in place. Some other things that are key to this, it has a temperature control sensor built right into it. So that way you don't have to worry about this thing overheating or melting like a cheap adapter might. <laughs> this will not, this will serve you very well. As I mentioned in the video, it's quite durable. I mean, I, I believe it's made out of a hard plastic, but I think you could run over this thing with a semi. I don't think it's going anywhere. I even thought about doing that, you know, running it over with a car, but I don't want to become one of those uh, hyper testing channels. We have those state of charge, for example, is perfect for that. You run everything right through the ringers. Uh, it's just a really nice device though. It's really, really quality. Again, there's a link in the description. If it's interesting to you, hit the link, buy it. Uh, we don't make money on purchases. So I don't want you to think that I'm selling that to you because that money goes to my pocket. It doesn't. It's not an affiliate link. All right, that's it for this, this episode of Awesome EV Tech. This is the awesome Fox Prod Nax to CCS adapter, which opens up your whole world if you drive a non-Tesla car to the Tesla superchargers that have been opened to you by Tesla. For us, for the Chevy Bolt EUV, for example, you're looking at 20,000 plus extra DC fast charger. So that, that means on top of Electrify America, on top of Ionia, on top of uh, ChargePoint, this really is a game changer. Thank you so much to the members of this channel. You're the ones that keep the wheels churning on the Positively Charged YouTube channel. And also all of those you have subscribed and liked and shared our videos. Those of you who bought us coffee, those of you who bought some of our, our, our merchandise, you're all so much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you.